hi everybody. Welcome to my trophy room. I'm Tom Miranda. In my hand, I've got a real interesting bow. This is a 2009 Matthews Drenaline, and attached to it is the prototype of the IQ bow sight. You can see it's silver in color. You can see the pins are, are quite heavy. This is one of the very original ones that we started out with back in the day. The IQ bow sight is unique because it has that special retina that helps you to lock in and keep the exact form you need, exact anchor point to make your shots. The IQ bow sight has adapted and changed over the years. And we're gonna go out now and we're gonna look at setting up the IQ Pro Hunter, which is a two fixed pin sight with a rover pin. Let's go check it out. When you buy the site, it's gonna come looking just like this in the box. Now I'm a multiple pin guy because I'm a ground hunter. I'm doing a lot of spotting and stalking. I'm not gonna just rely on a 20 and 30 yard shot. So this rover pin on the bottom here allows me to set yardages 30, 40, 50, 60, and then I can roll down that rover pin and make longer shots. You'll find out that an IQ bow sight like this is gonna make you a much better shot. You're actually gonna gain at least 10 yards distance in your shooting. When you get the sight, it comes with the instruction manual. It tells you everything you need to know, everything we're talking about now. It comes with four of the hex wrenches. It comes with all the mounting hardware that you need. Uh, one of the things I do when I get a new sight is I pull out my bow and I look at this old sight that I had on there and the new sight, and I try to line up the mounting brackets and I look at the pins and I try to see where the pins are lying. So now I'm gonna take my Matthews Halon bow here and I'm gonna mount the sight to it. We're gonna put the sight right here right on those mounting screws. You use the flathead screws to mount because the mounting holes are countersunk. You can see a little trick I use. I'm using my own wrench, but I also run a rubber band around there to just hold all those other wrenches in place. It makes it kind of nice and makes it easy. Before you tighten this all the way down, you want to pull that sight either up or pull it down and get it one direction. Make sure it's solid and then get it nice and tight. Now we're going to set up the IQ reticle. It's the most important part of this site because it's what makes it so special. It's gonna give you 10 yards more accuracy, but what we've gotta do is we've gotta line up the reticle that's here in the top. It's a green window with a black dot in the middle. In order to line it up, we've gotta load an arrow into the bow. You gotta do this in a safe location because you have gotta draw your bow. You don't wanna draw it without an arrow in there because if you accidentally fire your bow with no arrow in there, it's gonna be a dry fire and you're gonna break your bow. So you don't wanna do that, but you also, if you've got an arrow in here, you've gotta make absolutely sure that you've got a safe place to draw it. So we're gonna draw back, pull back, open our hand. I'm gonna go on the kisser button. I also put my nose right on the string, all lined up. My anchor point's perfect, my hand's perfect, the bow is centered. The dot is not centered, the green window's high, and maybe just a little bit needs to move to the right. So I'm gonna let the bow down and do the adjustment. You use the smallest wrench, and you don't have to turn it very far. The arrow tells you up, so we're gonna go down. And we've also gotta turn it in just a little bit. It doesn't take much. Now, if you don't see the window at all, you may have to kind of torque the bow around and try to find out where it is, and then you're gonna to have to move the window in accordingly. Typically, two or three times is all adjustment you'll need. Try this again. Full draw, open hand, anchor points. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and it's perfect. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go down range to the target and get our windage and elevation. 